How's the hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of The Outer Worlds and in today's episode we're pretty much going to be only doing the main quest. We are, I already maxed out my character, I done every single quest. I even upgraded all my guns to level... Well... No, have that not saved? Fuck, okay. I thought I did that before I saved though. Yeah, I was uh, upgrading my guns because they're kind of shit. Wait, what the fuck? Did it like reset my upgrades? No, those are my upgrades. Yeah, because the guns were like... But the sniper rifle hit like 600... What the fuck? It hit like 600 damage and now it hits like 500. What happened? Okay. My guns just became shit. Okay, cool. That's great. Anyway, we're gonna do the main quest now. Which involves us flying to Tartarus, a new location, look at that. Just kidding, there's going to be 10 more episodes, because it's an open location with a bunch of quests. I'm lying, this is just fucking... Final location where I'm, you know, gonna do one quest. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. It doesn't even look that interesting. It looks like every other space station I went to. Yeah, sure. Hello. Unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. I don't really give a shit. confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes have been filed and notarized. At which point, your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. What the hell is with you people and landing violations? I'm sorry, you people? Did you just cast a generalization on a... What do you mean, EDL you people? That's a fine of 200 bits. Eh. You're up to Actually, I don't have any bits left. Not including the cost of your execution and the disposal of your remains, which will If be you're going to kill me, why bother with a ticket? Protocol is important, sir. Bullshit. The sentencing of one crime does not preclude the sentencing of another, technically speaking. Tartarus docking authority Why the fuck up. do I speak to Hang this on. guy? I'm gonna kill him Looks like, like you're gonna have company at a little later. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that, just have a pleasant day. Oh look, I someone from the groundbreaker you. seems to want to help How me. How can I be of assistance? Eh, Goodbye. nothing. I watched the remake of the Evil Dead, the Evil Dead from 2013, and it's actually definitely better than the f original one. So it doesn't even have Ash. I mean, okay, Ash appears at like the very fucking end after the credits for like half a second. And I was really hoping he would appear because I didn't know anything about the movie. I didn't know he doesn't fucking appear. So Dave, Eric, Dave's girlfriend, Eric's girlfriend, and Dave's sister. Show up to the shack. It seems to be the same shack from the original movie, and Evil Dead 2. But it's not taking place in the 80s anymore. It is definitely like, like 2013, I guess. And it's and there's a lot of scenes that seem to be, you know, it's like a reboot kind of remake. So Dave's sister is the girl drawing, except this time she doesn't draw an evil SpongeBob. She draws fucking. Uh, she draws the woods. Which is a little more creepy, so I guess that's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot. These, uh... I don't know who these people are, but they're helping me. I'm glad I have friends. Have I pissed off any... Uh, I remember that when I finished the game, Iconoclast came to help me. And since they didn't find it with Iconoclast this run... You guys can stop fucking running. My gun is like projectile ammunition, it's hard to aim. Look, I'm getting. I have vampirism, I'm getting help from killing people. That's awesome. Yeah, and they show up to the shack. Apparently, Dave's brother's like a drug addict, and the reason they kind of keep her in that shack is to. Like, help her deal with the drugs, because she's not allowed to do any. And there's a thing... Yeah. 
Ow. Have everyone turned on me again? Come on, I didn't even mean to. I can't tell you guys apart from the other guys. Great, I, I fucking killed my fucking friends. Great, oh my god. I meant to kill that guy. Everyone turned on me. You guys are right. Jesus Christ, you guys have some troubles over there. Who can get past that armor? I can get past anything. We better shut up. Groundbreaker reputation decreased. I didn't mean to kill those people. And I'm a little too late into the game to give a shit about my reputation. I think that was... that was um... I think that was... Those were the people from um... What are they called? Sublight. The mercenaries. But fuck, I didn't know they're gonna show up and also I, don't, I couldn't fucking tell them apart from the other guards. They had some different helmets, but fuck, I just shot the guy, because I assumed that was the enemy. Because in his general direction was the red triangle pointing to an enemy. So I assumed that had to be fucking enemy. And wasn't. I fucked it up. I hope I won't fucking shoot anyone ever again. Because if all the other factions will get pissed off, that will be an annoying thing. A guy completely fucking ignored what happened. You know, the usual. I'm not gonna pick up guns because it's absolutely not worth it. After you finish this quest, you're not really allowed to go back anywhere. All you can do is just reload a save file from before. If you really want to. But I'm definitely going to pick up ammo. But God knows how much my how much of it I would need. An interesting thing. Uh is that. It's actually a boss fight at the end. It's weird, it's not much of a boss fight. You know, there have not been boss fights in this game. But there is one at the very end. It's not very good. It's probably why they didn't really bother to put the boss fights before. Because they haven't made them really good. Same place, okay. Wasn't sure where I'm going. Yeah, and they go to the shack, and the uh, first thing that happens is... They go to the basement, and they find the Necronomicon, which in this movie was called something different, it was called like... I don't know, something... It was a Necronomicon. It didn't have a face on it, so I admit they could explain that it was actually a different book. Because the Necronomicon had a face on it. And it was made out of human skin. Well, this book was only made out of human skin, and it was in a... Didn't have a face on it. Oh yeah, the whole movie begins with like a like a girl going into woods. And I think this is the same girl that comes back later in the movie as in nice haunts. To leave us a few options. Oh, can I like gas them all or something? It's like a room full of mercenaries, I mean soldiers, and I have a feeling if I'm like skilled enough with one thing, there's probably some alternative I can do. Or not, because I can't get up there. What options did you mean? There's no options, I just gotta fuck them up. Them, that was really cool, actually. I thought it was burst fire when I first got it, but it's actually really nice. Sublight has arrived. Hey, kid. A little but now is the sublight. I said I owed you one, and I always pay my debt. Thanks, Lilia. Well, the, who the fuck was this other other people that I fucking killed? Were those like... Oh my god, I don't wanna shoot the sublight again. You guys fuck them up. I don't like... Make my companions do the thing. Ah, oh, she killed sublight. Fuck, I can't tell who they're shooting at. So complicated. There's too many people, man. 
So when I first played the game, I actually didn't have got the help from Sublight because I didn't kill the scientist, I instead helped the scientist. Man, there's so much of the Sublight people, I might as well not even fucking bother killing anyone myself. Oh, these guys are the worst. These guys are like electric flamethrowers. I don't know what the fuck an electric flamethrower is called. An electricity thrower? This is just like Borderlands. A little bit. Oh, and a group of people totally didn't hurt. These guys need to redesign these fucking helmets. It's really odd. And so they go into the basement and they find a bunch of hanged cats, like dead, maybe burned cats just hanging upside down from the ceiling. That wasn't any original, so that's something new. And I feel like this movie was more of a body horror movie because a lot of things were like, ah oh, man, ah oh, shit. It wasn't like something really scared me. It was more like, oh gross. I wish something like that didn't happen to me ever. It's disgusting. Yeah, and they find the Necronomicon, they find a double barrel shotgun of course. Staple. That fucking shotgun. And that shotgun been used by that girl from the beginning father to kill her. Because I guess the girl got possessed. At first I thought maybe they tried to explain it, like she's a witch and she's the one who fought. She's the one who made Necronomicon. Because I thought it was like taking place long ago in the past, but it didn't. It just took place a little bit in the past. She guys like took care of everything. My companions are like dead. Sublight, oh at least not, not dead. Sublight's like gone, I don't know where the fuck they went. Processing. Seems like I only the only one alive. Is that the last of him? I don't know. I told my dad about the whole um what did I sniper rifle? About Mafia One remake and he seems to be kind of excited, that's cool. See, I told you that's not the last of him, more enemies. Fucking lie to me, Ellie. That's unacceptable. You're gonna be punished with death. I remember the first episode, man, when I just like went out of my ship and I was like running around killing bandits. Who would thought it would escalate into me fucking storming a base full of soldiers and fucking them up? I did, because I beat the game before I started recording it. So I definitely did expect it that to happen. Unless for some unexplained reason I wouldn't be able to record it. Like for example, my PS4 would break. If I for some reason couldn't record Let's Plays all of a sudden, I think what I would do, I'd like to say, let's say my life would get so fucking complicated and busy that I would just not have fucking time to sit down and make Let's Plays. I think what I would do is... I still have a lot of gameplay in such episodes. Like, on my channel it's like, what, 50 episodes? 40 something? But the amount of episodes I made... is like 200. Yeah, and... I think what I would do is like, upload one every Friday, so like, videos would still be coming out. Just not every day, and not out of like, the same game every other day. So I wouldn't finish games, I would just like, do gameplay videos where I just play a game for like, 10 minutes and... Talk about it, talk why I hate it, talk why I like it, like like it maybe. And if I don't fucking like it, then I will tell you why the fuck it sucks. Anyway, they find a Necronomicon, right? Eric like studies it, which is the first fucking bad move in the movie, you know? Also that he doesn't fucking tell anyone what he read in the book. Also why the fuck would you read a haunted book that you found in a fucking haunted basement? Like if I saw dead cats in the basement, that would be my fucking cue to get the fuck out of there. But no, they insist on staying there as part of treatment of his sister, which is like, oh man, she has to stay with us for like the whole weekend. Or else, or else she'll go back to her drug addiction, oh no. Apparently Dave and uh, Mia, that was the girl, their mother was like crazy. And Dave left 
the household and left Mia with her mom and her mom would get like crazy and fucked up and that's what Mia kind of has a like kind of don't like Dave for that because he did that but at the end of the fucking movie she's the only one alive so who the fuck even cares there's enemies Oh, you motherfuckers hiding from me. My wrath is unex unescapable. You can't fucking run away from it. And there's still an enemy. Motherfucker coming out. I can't fucking... Why is there so much shit to collect if... <clears throat> When you beat this quest, you don't really get to like explore the world any further, which is what I think they should have done. <clears throat> like why? Well, I guess maybe because it's like the ending of the game doesn't really tie into me being able to run around and do stuff. <clears throat> Jeez, I'm sorry about my throat. Maybe it's still from the last episode where I felt a little sick. At the end, I was like, oh man, I don't want to record more. That's why last episode I kept it a little shorter, because I was like, I ain't gonna fucking sit here forever. He's not even, like, scared of me. He's just literally just looking for some shit. Look, I want to fucking shoot him in the head. Well, that's what you get for not paying attention to your surroundings. I like me, I main spy, Team Fortress 2. Just kidding, I main sniper. Sniper, spy, scout, uh, maybe like engineer, demo man, pyro, soldier, heavy. I think that's the way I, I do it, from what I remember. I only honestly don't like heavy. Like, I, I mean, I like heavy, but like out of all of the characters, I like him the least. Well, you didn't fucking told me there's gonna be vending machines. Vending machines full of shit I can sell. I'm on upgrade station, so much shit. Maybe I should have been collecting the guns. Crap. I didn't, I didn't thought of that. Well, I do have some garbage to sell. I don't need these upgrades. Actually, maybe I needed them. Too late. Only gun I can modify is this, and I already sold all my modifiers. I can tinker with some shit. Oh look, now they have 600. W what is the deal? I guess the game had to update the actual damage of my guns. That's this. This is Ellie's equipment, and this is Nyoka's equipment. She has a fucking shrink mind control ray, which I don't even know if it works. It does like minimal damage. Minimal damage, maybe I should upgrade it. Nah, I'm gonna upgrade her revolver. Because I'm nice like that. I can't upgrade it any further. And they find an Necronomicon, the Mia gets possessed because I guess sh the fucking Eric reads out the fucking inscription. And then she acts all fucked up. She tries, uh, she kills the dog, first of all. They hit a dog named Grandpa. She kills it with a hammer, while no one was looking. Then David gets all pissed off, and then she tries to boil herself in the shower. That was like one of the first kind of fucked up parts. When David gets really pissed off, because not only fucking Mia killed his dog and now tries to boil herself alive. And then, a bunch of other shit happens. Olivia, for example, gets possessed and cuts her face off. And then stabs Eric repeatedly in the face. And then I think she dies by getting like her fucking skull crushed with a shower or something like that. Dave's girlfriend gets possessed and she does pretty cool stuff where her hands get possessed and like uh, Ash and Evil Dead 2 also had his hand possessed so he could cut it off. But he replaced it with a fucking chainsaw later and he became a badass. She just cut it off and just had a weird scene where she has to cut it, her fucking hand off which was pretty gross. And then she loses another hand when David shoots her because she's already possessed. And then there's a cool scene where she beats the fuck out of everyone with a crowbar. And Eric tries to like cover his face from the crowbar, but she like fucks up his hand in half, and that was pretty messed up. 
That was I think that was my favorite part, maybe. Eric's hands getting fucked up. And then Eric obviously also gets possessed later, and he pretty much causes Dave to kill himself because Dave shoots a gas tank and blows up the whole house. But then there's a blood rain happening, and, uh, and Mia has to get the fuck out of here in a car. But then the lady, I think the girl from the beginning, comes back, tries to kill Mia. And there's a cool scene where Mia's hands get trapped into the car and she just fucking rips off her hand. Which looks kinda fucked up and I don't think we should be able to actually fucking do that. <laughs> like, would your own brute force just rip off your arm? You know, I, I don't know, I fucking tried to like squeeze it out from underneath the car. I mean, this, the fucking ground was all soaked. Maybe you could like dug up under the car and just fucking get your hands out. And then she cuts the bitch in half with a chainsaw, everything gets fine. Mia ends up having no fucking arm and just stares into the distance. And then Ash shows up and says, Groovy. And then I guess I have to find out what the fuck happens next by watching Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Which I found the first season. But the second season I found misses some episodes, so I'm gonna have to look into... Look for them. Maybe I'm just gonna look for on different websites, because the website I usually look to find movies, well, it doesn't have that one, so... It has episode 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and that's it. It misses 3 episodes. So that sucks. So I'm either gonna watch season 2 without fucking knowing what the fuck is going on, or I'm gonna look into it. Apparently season 4 was cancelled, so there's only 3 seasons. But they're all like hours long. Shit. Okay. Place is full of fucking bad guys. I don't know, should I keep going? I think I'm fucking went on a rant about Evil Dead. Just gonna fucking stop the video. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.